So, apparently, Stargirl isn't part of the Arrowverse. Well, okay. I mean, I was under the impression that sh that show was. I mean, uh, little backstory. Stargirl, I'm guessing from how the first episodes made it seem, which I don't really know much about Stargirl outside of the outside of the episode that I've seen, so my knowledge on her is very limited. She looks like Captain America, but she has this staff that's a mind of his own, and she's the daughter of Starman, who is part of the JSA. Okay. The actress is pretty good. I like the acting. Definitely has a... Assuming that this show does go into the arrow first, definitely, this show definitely will have like the lightest feel to it from what I've seen from the first episode. But... This is Geoff Jones. Sorry if I butchered your name. Addresses... Possible... Stargirl and Arrow first crossover. Which indicates that... Stargirl is not part of the Arrowverse as of yet. Keep in mind that Black Lightning, as far as I'm aware, wasn't part of the Arrowverse the first two seasons, but third season, yeah, they said, oh yeah, Black Lightning is going to be part of the Arrowverse. But let's read the article. DC, Com DC Universe Stargirl premiered earlier this week on the DC Comics and the CW. However, it is technically, it is not technically part of the Arrowverse world. Regardless, this doesn't mean that a crossover is out of the question. I was speaking with CBR, Stargirl creator Geoff Jones suggested the meetup between Courtney Whitemore, being Stargirl, and the heroes of the arrow first is definitely possible. And then is they're quoting uh, this Geoff Jones guy saying, We're completely over to it. There are many possibilities. We're set on Earth too and it gives us the room to tell our own history and story, but also the opportunity in the future to do anything in the comic books or to always cross over with other places. Conversations have been had, but it's all a matter of when it makes sense, and if we have the best story. The arrow first, then, that's how I'll quote. Then, uh, the arrow first used to, used to have several alternate worlds before the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover. That 540 fan memorably featured references to a handful of parallel universes. The crossover even recycled footage from Titan, Swamp Thing, and Stargirl to illustrate the fastness of the multiverse. So this is on Earth 2, okay. Original Earth 2 was destroyed. Okay. But it seems like they contradicted themselves. Guess. In the second sentence, in general, it says, However, it is not technically part of the Arrow First world. But then when you get down to, like, the last paragraph, I said, mentioned, like, the last sentence of the last paragraph, it says, The crossover being Crisis, even recycled footage from Titans, Swamp Thing, and Stargirl, to illustrate the fastness of the multiverse. So, it's not part of the era first, but they use recycled images from Titans, something, and Stargirl. So, that means that Stargirl is 
was part of the Arrowverse then. That makes Swamp Thing part of the Arrowverse. That makes Titans part of the Arrowverse. Siri might be on different worlds, or Earths, as I like to call the different dimensions in Arrowverse, but that still technically counts as part of the Arrowverse, so I'm sorry. Star Girl is part of the Arrowverse. Since since they used like a recycled footage of Star Girl in the Crisis on Infinite Earths, if they didn't use that recycled image of Star Girl and even with Swamp Thing and Titans, then I would buy into okay, maybe not exactly now. Maybe not in the moment, Star Girl is not part of the Arrowverse. And maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe this version of Earth 2 is not part of the Arrowverse as of yet. But there's one day where it could. But now I think I'm convinced that it is, especially the line that says. The crossover even recycled footage from Titans, Swamp Thing, and Star Girl to illustrate the fastness of the multiverse. Now I'm not saying like the Dark Knight trilogy or uh, the Batman movies without the exception of like the one that they showed for in the Arrow Crisis on Infinite Earths is part of the Arrowverse. But, I do believe that Stargirl is uh, part of the era first because they use recycled footage in Crisis on Infinite Earths, which is the era first crossover. And again, they do contradict themselves. Technically, it's not technically part of the Arrow First world, but then they come to say the crossover event recycled footage of footage from Titan, Swamp Thing, and Star Girl. Like I said, if they didn't have that line, I would buy into the whole. It's not technically part of the Arrow First. But the only, like, set in stone that I can get behind with is that there's so many possibilities. Okay, we're set on Earth 2, and it gives us the room to tell our own history and story. And look, not every Earth has their own, has the same history. Like, in Earth 2, Tommy Merlin became... The Dark Archer, Oliver Queen died on the Gambit, Thea Queen died from like an alcohol overdose. In the future, on a different Earth, with that we saw in uh, Era on the crossover, Crisis on Infinite Earths, Sarah Lance did not make it when the Queen's Gambit went down. What all our Sarah did. So, yeah, it does give you the room to tell your own history and story. But the whole Star Girl's not part of the Era First, even though you use some recycled footage from Star Girl to put in the Crisis on Infinite Earths, does seem contradicting. And I don't mean to sound rude or nitpick, but it does seem contradicting. So for me, yes, Star Girl is part of the Arrow first. Now, which show can I see Star Girl crossing over with? Between Supergirl and uh, The Flash. Batgirl, assuming that 
Season 2 does come. Maybe Supergirl. I mean, maybe Batwoman. But for sure I can see, based on how the, I feel about the first episode, I can see Stargirl crossing over with The Flash or Supergirl. That's just me. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think... Which show do you guys think would benefit the most from doing a crossover with Stargirl? Being like Stargirl's first crossover. And I really doubt that they'll have any crossovers this season for Stargirl. Maybe next season, but not this season. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day. Love you all. Be kind to one another. And I'll see you guys real soon. Take care. Love you all. And have a wonderful day.